meter. I'm going to grab the volt meter, right? Then I'm going to check my orientation for the positive voltage. I need the positive to be on the positive and the negative to be on the negative. So guys, I will start with the total voltage. Remind me guys, am I recording? Yes. Remind me, how do we measure the total voltage? How do we measure the total voltage? Parallel. Parallel, ne? So the positive of our voltmeter, where does it go to? The positive of R1. Positive R1. Nice. So this wire here is going to go here, and the negative goes to negative of R3. R1. R3. R3. So, so now, we don't forget we have our supply. We have R1, R2, R3 connected in series. Now we're going to check what is this uh, reading. Do you do you see the, the total voltage there? Can you guys see 12 volts? Can you see 12 volts? I know it is um, slanting, né? but do you see 12 volts? Or oh, let me do it like this. Yes. Okay, okay. Let, let me do it like this. Let me see if I can rotate this. Can I rotate to the right? Okay, maybe this way will be better. Um, Can I drag? Let me drag this here. Just drag it a bit there. Uh, yeah, I just messed up. Okay, let me just leave it like this, man. So uh, um, this is total. Uh, this is total voltage. Total voltage is what VR one plus VR two plus VR three. Uh, are we together, guys? It gives us twelve volts. But obviously, this is simulation, man. Practically, you might get eleven point something due to your internal resistance of the voltmeter. But now, do you see the connection? The positive, don't forget guys, don't forget that our positive of the supply goes to positive of R1. Then this is negative R1, positive R2, negative R2, positive R3, negative R3. And we still have the negative of the supply. So this is your schematic for total voltage. Don't forget to mute, guys, when you join.